We are here at Disney's Old Key West Resort, a Disney Vacation Club resort. The first one ever, in fact. And we are in a deluxe studio. And here's the entry area. And uh, let's go. That is the biggest peephole I've ever seen. It's pretty big. Let's take a look around the bedroom. Carpet. It's very Florida. We have some we have a photograph from actual old Key West. We have two beds, both of which have the uh, opening underneath if you want to store your bags or anything else under there. You have the space there. Over here we have art of Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse enjoying the beach. Table between uh, the two beds, our room phone, our remote, which looks different from most resorts because it is different from most resorts. Uh, the outlet situation is not going to be great. I'm going to warn you now. I see two standard outlets hiding back there. Uh, we have another two on the side of that bed. Two over there by the table. So yeah. We have our patio, which is nice. Probably need to unlock it. There we go. We look out at the uh, the road here. See some other people's patios, some other rooms. We're right by the hospitality house. Uh, the only thing I don't like is how close you are. That is someone else's window. That's not ours. So, uh, uh, privacy on the balcony, if that's what you're interested in. Um, you do have the people next door with the window right there. Okay, close this. Lock it. Some shade you can draw on that. It's a little table area. Uh, I like this art a lot. This is pretty cute. Very Key West style directional sign. Tells you how far all these different locales are away. Of course, it's Key West at the top. Uh, Nassau. Uh, Tortuga. Reference to Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Miami, and then at the bottom we got some more Disney ones. We have Honolulu with a very Lilo and Stitch looking uh, surfboard, and then uh, I like the Magic Kingdom one, which a lot of people probably won't catch this, but there is a particular sign that that Magic Kingdom one is based on. It is based on the shape of the Jungle Cruise boat signs, so the signs that are on top of each boat. Also, there's a little hidden Mickey in the post, which is fun. It's cute. Disney touches while still being themed to Key West. Hey, where have we seen these before? We just stayed at Beach Club. These are the same drawer pulls. These starfish drawer pulls are identical. So we do have a dresser here. We have four, four drawers. And that's what we've got. Like, that's it. It is a studio. It sleeps four. And you have four drawers. You do have room for your, your bags under the bed. There is, technically, there's more space down here. If you really need it. And a really tiny television. I don't even know the make. Oh, it's a Samsung. Um, it comes out a bit, which is good. You can turn it towards the table. If you want to watch over there, turn towards the beds. It's nice to have that dual functionality. All right, here's our kitchenette. We have a nice GE microwave. Um, due to the pandemic, we have pre-wrapped plates, bowls, forks, knives, all that good stuff. Mr. Coffee, along with our coffee supplies, we have a uh, Sunbeam toaster, our ice bucket, a couple of small shelves here, sink. Um, we have 
The toilet paper roll is down here along with an extra one and a garbage pail, which is weird because you have a garbage pail also right there. It's a lot of garbage pails in close proximity in a very small room. Uh, we have the closet over here. I'll warn you my stuff is in here already, my bags. Um, so in here you have a vacuum, luggage rack, hangers, iron, ironing board, extra pillows and blankets, fire extinguisher, safe, old, real old style safe, wow, with the key, they did not replace those, those are original, and then we have a nice little bathroom, it's got a good amount of space in it, uh, the vanity is indeed in here, it's a rather nice vanity, we have our Conair hair dryer, we have some Tissues and toilet paper down there. H2O amenities. All that good stuff. Um, the only art in the room I don't like is that art. <laughs> uh, there's the toilet. Here is our shower. I don't like the shower curtain either. It's not, it's, I don't know. It's kind of plain. You have a fogged uh, window there, higher up. It does let natural light in, which I like. I have to say I'm a fan of that. 90s Disney Resort room design. It's very pleasant. Uh, you have the amenities attached to the wall here. Nice big shower head. It's nice and tall. Uh, behind the door, we have some towel racks. Big mirror on the front of the door. It's a very cute, very cute little bathroom. That's uh, that's the studio. Um, obviously, it's a little dated in that they don't have the USB outlets. They really don't have a lot of outlets at all, uh, in all actuality. Um, but I like the vibe. It is uh, you get that Florida. You know, tropical vacation vibe. I like it. I like the layout of the room. It feels spacious, even though the beds are right here by the door. Um, like, there's a nice amount of room. Out this way, you have a nice little patio. I mean, that patio is considerably bigger than the one we just had at the beach club. Uh, there's lots of room here. The bathroom's pretty spacious. All in all, it's a, it's a very nice room. I'm a, I'm a fan. Very cute.